the reason I like this torch so much is because of how far you can comfortably choke up on it. The closer you are here to the tip of your tungsten, the more accurate you can weld. It's the same, it's the exact same as a pencil, you know, if you want to be real accurate with a pencil or pen, you hold it up nice and close. If you're back here, you're all wobbly and all, all your little shaky movements get multiplied the longer this distance is. And then I like the flat on top too. The TIG button, it's like it was almost meant for it, how nice and close you can put it up there versus, you know, if you want to put it on the handle, you got to put it way back here so that distance is further. And I've been using this one since, uh, let's see, yeah, this one since like 2008 and I just love it for aluminum work. The only torch, and I've never needed a flex head or anything, you know, because this is more compact. I'm not knocking any specific brand, but like these ones, these are air-cooled, but the hardware requires you to have longer extensions here, which I dislike too. So yeah, that's by far my favorite. It's pricey though, and unfortunately, let me pull it apart and let you look at it. Unfortunately, these fittings are different between this and CK's, so you can't just get ahead and put it on CK lines, which are cheaper. These ones are like brass compression fittings where um, the water-cooled CKs and others, they have like a sleeve that just kind of compresses down on a soft hose. So yeah, this you have to buy the whole assembly. It costs quite a bit more. I'll leave a link below for it. And to adapt this torch to the prime weld machine, which I really like, I'm going to be using it a lot more in upcoming videos, you have to get rid of this connector here and buy this one to get it to all work right. And I'll, I'll leave a link below for this too. Yeah, so this is my favorite torch, and then if I was doing stainless work, like thinner stuff where you don't need a water cooler, because, you know, this is kind of heavy, it gets kind of old if you don't need to carry all this weight around, if you're just welding like stainless headers or something, I would go with, I had an old Pro Star that was really light air-cooled, and then I just had smaller tungsten in it, so it wasn't, it was just more, way more nimble to weld around tubing. But yep, that's my favorite. Thanks for watching.